Hello everyone, Dan Herb with Dan Herb Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. I am here checking out a new claim. This is an exciting one. It's a big one. Right up there on the hill is an old gold and silver mine. And just over the ridge is the Ocean Picture Stone. A gorgeous lapidary stone quarry. We were just about to, you know, go and explore a bit when we scared up a herd of elk. You see him up there on the hill? Hopefully Dana got some good footage of the herd of elk. Beautiful creatures. They are huge. Anyhow, we don't know what we're gonna find, so wish us luck. So we're planning to track down the Ocean Picture Stone Quarry first. Um, we're hoping the road actually loops around somewhere and goes right to it, but we can't really tell right now. So we're just going for a walk up to where, I wanna say where we know it is, but where we think it is. So walking up towards the quarry, we found our first sign of the Ocean Picture Stone. It's covered in lichen and moss, but this rock here has the perfect seam of this blue chalcedony running right through it. Beautiful stuff. We're seeing evidence everywhere now. All of the rocks on this hillside show evidence of the most beautiful blue. We don't know what we're gonna collect today, but we're definitely collecting some of this. Okay, now we're excited. We didn't know if, when we claimed this, we didn't know if we actually had the quarry or not because there was some discrepancy between the mineral file online and where we thought the quarry actually was. We went to where we thought the quarry actually was rather than where the online file said it was and we got it. Look at this. Woohoo! Oh, look at this stuff. And it's huge too. It's just wow after wow after wow right now. These are, and it's everywhere. We got pieces everywhere. I'm gonna definitely have to fire up my rock saw because once this stuff is slabbed, why they call it ocean picture stone is this host rock down here at the bottom, if you cut a slab off capturing the host rock and some of the encapsulated pockets of it, it looks like an ocean scene with sand, beach, islands, water, and clouds. And that's sort of the idea with the ocean picture stone. And right now we could just collect buckets of it. Whoa, that... Under the... Of course, I didn't bring a bucket. <clears throat> it's in the truck. Under that one you just picked up. We're going to be collecting rock samples of this to include in all of our gold and gem pay dirt bags. So if you buy a pay dirt bag from here on out, it will have a piece of ocean picture stone in it. Oh, some of the color is just outstanding. There's going to be a perfect ocean scene there with the beach, a rock out in the, in the water. It almost looks like waves crashing over the rock. Beautiful blue of the water and then the white of the sky. Ocean picture stone. My wife says I have to stop collecting rock and go see what my son found. Where is my son? Oh. oh. <laughs> Evan's collecting. Yeah. I knew you guys. Evan. You having fun? Yeah. 
Now this isn't a new find by any stretch of the imagination. This has been around for many, many years. Here's an old mining post. Uh, not very old, that's only 2003. Here's quite the trench that was dug. You can actually see seams of the ocean picture stone still in situ, in place in the host rock. And Evans found something cool. Endless digging up here. Just got to find those right pieces. And there's the town of Midway, way down below. One really neat thing about this too, this site here, um, this is just a form of quartz, chalcedony. It's, it's the same type of thing that you'd find in a quartz seam in a gold mine. And it deposits the same way through hot fluids bubbling up through the earth, getting to a certain temperature and pressure, then dropping out of the solution, which is exactly how gold forms. And if you look at some of these, these pockets of rust that are inside them, they actually um, investigated the ocean picture stone itself for gold content and it actually shows that there is some gold content in this quartz seam which just happens to be a beautiful blue color quartz really neat to see and also that gold silver mine that we talked about earlier is just over there so there is actual mineralization metallic mineralization really close so boys, I've got a challenge for you. I want you each to find one perfect stone, the best stone that you can find, and we're gonna put it up for auction on our website. And of course, you guys get the revenue from whatever it sells for. It'll go towards your college fund. Um, yeah. <laughs> go find a piece, do it. So I think Alex is thinking that we have to actually slab his rock before we put it up for auction. You wanna cut in it, is that what you're saying? Okay, okay, we can do that. What do you think, Evan? Is that too big, or um, is the blue worth it? Blue is pretty, it is a very pretty blue, but it's a big rock, eh? A bit too big, okay. Holy shit. I'm just exploring now, and what did I find? We may have been digging in the wrong spot this whole time. Look at that. There's the ocean picture stone in all its glory. This is what makes it ocean picture stone. It looks like an ocean scene. Wow. And the real trick here is to find just the right piece, the right rock. We didn't know what to expect when we came here. We didn't even know we had the right claim for this quarry. We were gonna be happy with it if we found one rock with a little bit of blue on it. What we ended up finding was astonishing. We have thousands of pounds of the most beautiful gem quality ocean picture stone. We've taken buckets full to take home to add to our golden gem bags and auction off and use for making cabochons and slabs and all that stuff but there is thousands of pounds of the most beautiful stuff still here to collect into the future we are so happy we never thought we could find this much we don't have all day to collect here because we do want to check out the other mine site that's on this claim and it's gold and silver so let's go check it out I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me that thumbs up. Please share it and leave me a comment. Big thanks to my patrons out there. You guys are awesome. And until next one, everyone.